Tonight on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror, someone is stalking the streets of New York City looking for pretty girls. One could say that he's a cut above the rest. Lucio Fulci's The New York Ripper. Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror! <sighs> Nightmare Baby Circus! <sighs> anyways, anyways, tonight, 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 coming off of last night's cult exploitation work from Wes Craven, the last house on the left. I do realize they did make a, a remake of that movie and I started like with a little bit of a theme, but I'm not gonna do the remake cause I just heard it's trash. Anyways, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. Anyways, tonight, 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 it is time to go back to the eighties which would be forward because we were in the 70s last time, but whatever. Anyways, it's time for another Italian slasher giallo, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Aluccio Fulci, one of my favorite Italian directors, and his really, <laughs> really vile and smutty slasher flick, The New York Ripper. Okay, so what is The New York Ripper about? Well... I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Anyways. So, in the city of New York, there is a deranged killer who is stalking and butchering lovely ladies, and the police are baffled to figure out who could be doing this. The only clue they have is a phone call overheard by the landlady or neighbor of the first victim they found, and that was that he sounded like a duck. Yeah, quack quack, duck sounding type of thing. So anyways, the police detective decides to go to the local university to talk to a psychologist, psychiatrist, whatever it is, psychologist probably, to get a profile of the killer. And of course he comes up with a profile that the guy is very smart, probably from a good family, wealthy background, and uh, is going to continue to kill until the person is found. Anyways, so the movie twists and turns within the seedy underbelly of 80s New York, 42nd Street and beyond, all the sex clubs, the, 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 the grind houses, the peep shows, all of that, while we also follow this uh, woman who is also wealthy and has a husband who apparently allows her to freely love and uh, find love out there, as long as she records the sessions on an audio tape so that he can listen later, because apparently that's how he gets his rocks off. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, so we're kind of like following multiple people. Uh, also, this uh, woman who is... Uh, an athlete who wants to go to the Summer Olympics and her uh, what was it, physicist boyfriend, she gets to be the only victim that survives and perhaps is the only link the police have to the killer. So what do we have with this movie? Well, let's get to those scores, shall we? Violence and gore, five out of five. This movie is brutal. It is bloody. It is vile. This has some of the most butchery death scenes in all of horror history. Well, I don't know. That's probably a big, big, big type of thing to say. But no, I mean, these, these deaths are brutal. I mean, there's one that's a bottle which isn't as graphic, but man, everything else is just like, like cutting here, cutting there, slicing here, uh, stabbing there. It's, it is, it is, it is really, it, it brings the pain. Plus, um, the, the, the overt, um, sexual assaultiness of some of, of some of these situations also ramps up the, the impact. So five 
out of five shock value, three out of five, like not a lot of jump scares. There are a few, but the shock is mostly in the violence and brutality in this movie, and it is quite shocking and upsetting. Uh, so there you have it. Three out of five. The plot is a three out of five. Look, it was it was going to be a boring police procedural, except you have these interwove stories between several of the characters, uh, creating a whole bunch of red herrings, and the story does a nice job of twisting through and keeping you on your toes and making you think and and think again. And when the final reveal happens, you're like, yes, right, that does make sense. And on multiple viewings you can see the 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 groundwork for that stuff uh and i think pretty satisfying and also kind of like a a really bummer chilly chilling bummer ending uh because of a, a, a little girl uh wanting wanting someone to call her and it's like don't leave me alone don't leave me alone oh god Oh, the feels. Anyways, uh, three out of five. Uh, acting, I'm also going to give it a three out of five. I enjoyed the acting of the professor and the police officer. I think they were great. Some of the female characters in this movie were really over the top. Um, and also the, the duck voice. Come on. I, I know it's it's it fits the story. But yet, I, uh, uh, anyways, three out of five, still solid, still solid. Going on to nudity, nudity is a five out of five. I mean, you're going to sex clubs and, and strip shows and things like this. It's this seedy underbelly of New York City. And yes, there is a lot of nudity, a lot of nudity in this movie. Lots and lots of nudity that's on screen for not short periods of time. So there you have it, five out of five. All right, enjoyment factor. I mean, this is this is guilty of guilty pleasures. Uh, four out of five. It's vile. It's sleazy. It's it's violent and nasty, and yet it's it's a whole lot of fun for me. I don't know. I'm, that's me. I'm crazy. I'm sick. I guess. I don't know. I I enjoy watching this movie. It's fun to watch the characters and the interactions and to appreciate the practical blood, violent uh, cut butchery uh, going on. Uh, very nasty eye scene too, man, but still, so, I mean, look, it's got a lot of, it's got a lot of chocolate sprinkles and, and caramel ice, uh, caramel icing, <laughs> caramel uh, flavor on this ice cream and I love it. So four out of five and my overall impression is also a four out of five Look it actually is a mirror to society. It shows that there is That the the sick Twisted part of all of us. I mean every character in this movie for the most part has a deficiency the police officer is a um, is is frequency uh, frequency frequenting a a hooker so you know he's he's not super uh law abiding uh other characters have their little things their secrets their their um character moments to a you know put down upon them yes i know it's it's now 2018 18 damn 2019 and like some of these character things are are not as looked upon as they were probably back in the 80s and so maybe not ring as as true as it is today but looking back in the filter you understand why they would put things like that because of the mentality during those periods of time so you know you kind of have to understand that just to get it but whatever anyways i think it was a very well put together movie stylish uh has the italian flair great soundtrack uh, violent. It does its job. It it shows the disgusting nature of us and how we need to be better. <laughs> Honestly, we all need to be better. So there you have it. Four out of five. That averages to a 3.4 out of five. Very good. Very good score. Um, all those bonus points, they rack up. Anyway, so there you have it. New York Ripper. Episode 10. Oh my goodness, we're like it's all it's practically a third of the way in. So tell me what you think. 
Have you seen New York Ripper? Give me a comment in the comment section. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Don't forget to rate, share, uh, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you next time on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror. And, yeah, um, you know, if, if, if you're a wealthy woman in New York driving a Porsche, and you go to, you know, a, a bar that's filled with a, a bunch of guys, uh, and they want to play footsie with you, perhaps, you know, you should just leave before it gets too far. Because... I don't even know why that scene exists. I mean, I guess I know why that scene exists, but that, that, I don't know why the scene exists. But anyways, it just it doesn't it doesn't work out. It doesn't work out. Also, you know, don't check up with the 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 two fingered guy or three fingered guy, whatever. Um, yeah, it's just not gonna work out. Anyways, I'll see you next time.